One of Oregon's largest medical insurers for low-income people will shut down by the end of the month. Now the race is on to protect those patients. Welcome everyone to Coin6 News. I'm Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Anna Canzano. Family Care Health extended its contract with the state until the end of January after announcing last month that it planned to close. Having wrapped up just now a meeting to help providers understand how they can continue to serve their patients without a gap in care. And Jennifer Dowling joins us live at the meeting in Northwest Portland. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening. Yes, the Oregon Health Authority hosted today's meeting for doctors and other therapists, and there are a lot of questions still. Now, we're able to speak to some of those providers who were at the meeting, and one of the big themes, some concerns about how long it's going to take for a doctor or a mental health therapist to become a credentialed provider or an impaneled provider with another coordinated care organization like Family Care. If they can't transition quickly, they're concerned that patients will have a gap in treatment or may go without prescription medication. Now, Family Care is just one of 16 CCOs across the state who link low-income residents to the services they need. And while there are other organizations that can replace Family Care for some things, with Medicaid, there are only two big providers in the area. And doctors say it can be difficult to get contracted within a short time frame. We want to talk with providers that work with Family Care members to ensure that we're doing everything we can to provide continuity of care as members make that transition from family care to their new health plans. The director of the Oregon Health Authority stated in a past letter to the health community that family care's decision to close down from a proactive, uh, protracted rather rate dispute between the two organizations. Now, OHA says keeping people connected to care is their overriding goal, so they say they're committed to continue to answer questions. However, providers, again, still have many of them, and we'll keep following this for you. Back to you. A lot of people paying close attention to that situation. Jennifer, thank you.